Keeping all these animals is very important for the family. Every family is supposed to keep them because sometimes you may have some challenges like when it comes to sickness and you don't have money, you can take at least from the goats or the chicken and then you sell in order to pay the medical bills. More than 20 million families in rural parts of Nigeria depend on livestock production. However, animal diseases are a major threat to their livestock, including two in particular. Newcastle disease, which affects poultry, and pest des petits ruminants, which affects goats and sheep. To fight these diseases, the European Union is funding the Didiski project conducted by CIRAD and its partners. The project is taking an integrated approach to improve surveillance and control of these two diseases. Working on surveillance and control system, it's a, a difficult task because it implies many different actors, from the farmers to national veterinary services, community animal health worker, private vets. To combine all this point of view, using all those tools, we use what we call an integrated approach to build a common representation of the system. That integrated approach involves using and coordinating several types of activities to ensure better disease management. The first activity aims to involve players on the ground in vaccination campaigns and in disease reporting. This means organizing training and awareness raising drives and developing disease reporting apps. The training has been quite interesting and quite informative and educative. Um, certain misconceptions about community animal health workers have been cleared. They are very key because most of the farmers find it difficult to come to the city to access most of these um, Services. The second aspect of the approach is field data collection to understand the epidemiological aspect of diseases and pinpoint their socio-economic impact on local communities. We are sampling animals to better understand the occurrence of the disease, their geographical distributions, as well as the strains which are circulating. We are also implementing some questionnaires with farmer households to better understand their socioeconomic conditions as well as uh, how uh, they get resilient to shocks. The project is also helping to develop new disease control tools such as temperature control during vaccine storage and transport to guarantee their efficacy. The project's activities, the innovations rolled out and the data gathered will serve to develop surveillance and control strategies tailored to the situation in Nigeria. We use this integrated approach to connect national decisions with the local context. If you have a good surveillance system, it helps to have a healthy animal population, it protects the human population as well. And even in terms of um, international trade of food animals, it helps you tell member countries that we are free of this disease and so you have confidence in buying from us.